Hi, I'm Stephen Hare from Archery Supplies and today we're going to look at the new Scott Apex Thumb Release. Now this came into my store today and I was shocked. And I was shocked for many reasons. One, because I didn't know this release existed. I didn't even know I ordered it and a whole bunch of them came in. Now that could be my sales rep just going, well Stephen will take these. Maybe I forgot I ordered them. Because it's been months and months since Scott has shipped a shipment. So we're in COVID and they couldn't, there's no supplies and Scott had problems anodizing. So literally you've been lucky to get a Scott shipment in the last eight months. And this is the first one and by no means is it the entire Scott range. I think we got three releases. So and this is one of them and it's brand new. So I was like, well, let's have a look at this. So when it comes to releases, as far as thumb releases, there's a few names in the industry. Trubal, Carter, um, Scott, they're the big ones. Oh, and also Stanislavski, which I sort of forgot about. Now, Scott has always had, I'm gonna say questionable thumb releases, and that's gonna be mean. Not popular um, is probably a good way to do it. Being very, Scott's very popular with the wrist release for hunters, back tension releases, but their thumb releases never had much of a following. And there's a reason, there's some reasons for that. So let's look at this release aid. Now there's also another company, B3 Archery, which has a release which looks identical to the Scott release aids. Um, but this release aid looks completely different. So, I suppose when you look at a release, let's look at this one. This is adjustable so you can convert the angle of it to change the feel of your hand, you know, the curve of your hand. You can change this to make it three or four finger. This looks, you know, this part of it looks like you've seen on other releases. Um, Trueball do it, um, Stanislavski do this. And you basically look at a release like this, it's stainless, well it looks stainless steel, it's heavy, very heavy, it's as heavy as, you know, if, like a blade, brass, it feels, it feels heavier than that. This feels like the heaviest thumb release I've, I've felt. Um, so when you look at a release, you're going to say, well where does this sit at in the price bracket of thumb releases? And when I first saw that, this release, it was the first thing I thought of. I was like, well, how much do I pay for this? Is it a, is it a Carter price? Is it a True Bill Blade price? Is it a $150 release aid? Well, this is going to retail, and I've just forgotten. I think it retails for about $350 in Australia. That's Australian dollars. $260, $265 in America. That's American dollars. And at that price, it puts it a little bit more expensive than the Akata thumb releases, a bit cheaper than the True Ball Blade. It's going to put it cheaper than the Stanislavski release aids. So it's a high quality release aid. So um, you've got adjustments down here and in there. This looks a bit weird. It's kind of, it looks very industrial. I mean, I'm not saying it's not polished because it's clearly polished. Um, this looks kind of interesting the way it hooks in now to load it the past scott release aids for thumb have been quite hard to load this is very light so now when i shoot it so press the press that to cock it to shoot it you press the thumb and you'll see it's automatic automatic reloading so it's a spring activated and i'm hoping i'll be able to show you the spring in there so it automatically preloads and that's going to make loading really easy um, so the other, um, the other Scott release aid is quite hard to load and quite hard to load is common on some thumb release aids. Um, but this is very, very light. Um, so with that, the grip, this is a medium. It comes in medium and large. Now there was no large shipped in the shipment to me. There were three mediums. Um, and the big M on the side. So I'm not sure if that means they've made large or basically they were just starting to make them or they ran out of large, I'm not sure. Um, but it looks quite nice. Um, th this thumb here is adjustable and I assume there's an Allen key in there so you can change the angle of this barrel. Now this barrel is pretty standard. It looks like everyone else has got. It looks like the stands, it looks like the true balls i would like this if this came in different sizes and if if scott had 
different versions of this. In fact, Trueball Blade have just changed their thumb barrel. And I really like it. It's um, a little bit thinner. It's got some texture in here. Um, but this feels quite nice in the hand. Now, I've got a pretty average size hand and the medium feels good. Um, obviously, if you're a big guy with big hands, you're going to need the large. But this feels comfortable to me. It doesn't feel too small. Um, Stanislavski is like for me I need an extra large in a Stanislavski so Stanislavski is always on the small size but this medium feels very very comfortable in a true ball blade I'll be taking a medium so so let's have a shot now when you're trying out a new release aid always be close to the target because you sort of don't want it to go off now I've been experimenting with thumb release aids and back tension in the last weekend so one of the rounds I shot was with a thumb and one was back with back tension and I shot exactly the same score so that was quite easy to load let's just do that again it's pretty quick let's just have a shot Right now the thumb position, I'm not liking the thumb position. So the thumb to me is a kind of like that's where it's sitting. I kind of want it to sit like that. So I'm not... I like the feel of the... Um, I like the feel of the release. I think I want this little black thing pointed up more, so less curved. Now I just want to have a feel of the trigger. It feels like a very fine trigger, so it feels it feels nice as far as the shot. So cock it. Loading. Now with the other Scott release aid and the Scott Sigma, I found it a little bit harder to load with the ring because you had to cock it and then you have to move the jaw over with this it just is automatically loading now what you find with different release aids and what i'm finding with this and what i just did then is it puts your hand in a slightly different position and that's got to do with the length of the release aid so you can see there there's my hand so this is moving this forward here so actually my hands coming back further with this release aid than the current release aid I'm using so this is the back tension I'm currently using and I'll just grab my wrist so you can see there so the distance between here and my thumb must be different than this. And it doesn't look like much there, but it definitely feels different when I'm back shooting. Um, so if I was going to be using the um, Apex, I'd be changing the position of my peep side. I'd actually be moving my hand up. So I'm just going to shoot a, shoot a shot with the Ghost. So you can see here it locks into my face really nicely. So with this release it locks into my face nicely. It doesn't take anything away from the apex. It's just going to feel different. And when you try out release aids, bear in mind where your hand is sitting. Um, because with the thumb release aid I was trying on the weekend, my hand was ex exactly in the same place as this. So let's just feel how the tension goes off. The trigger is very light. Um, it's nice. So I was using a Stanislavski SX 
release the orange one on the weekend and I found that release aid um, I felt like I had to pressure it to get it off where this feels a lot lighter to activate you can see like the amount of pressure required on the thumb is negligible um, I'm not liking that position of the thumb so I'd have to experiment with that I, I kind of want to get it in here so I kind of want to peg on this thing here, I feel. Now you can change this because it's got three positions. That's pretty standard on all thumb release aids today. So you've got three positions there to move it closer. Um, Stanislavski, Trubal, uh, all have this mechanism. So it's no different, but for me, that's what I'd want to change. So my summary of this release aid, I think the trigger is nice. The loading mechanism is good. Now, with the blade, you've got when you cock it, when you press the button, the jaw closes, and if any part of the D loop is touching the jaw, the release aid will not close. And customers ring up and go, "I can't get the the blade to close." Well, it's because the D loop's touching. Um, with this, you don't have that problem because it just hooks in. So it's kind of a nice hook-in system. The finish is nice. It's going to be cheaper than the blade. Um, I would say the trigger is very equivalent to the blade as far as the shooting. The loading's very good. So my negative on this is the thumb little module, which you can change. Um, I would like different ones on here. And look, you can even buy the True Ball and Sounds Lusky. Um, I would. I'm going to say I would bet that it's the same fitting because it looks identical. Um, but overall, a nice a nice release aid from Scott. And I'm going to say it's the, probably the best of the Scott thumb release aids so far. And how would I relate, rate it to the other release aids? Carter make fantastic release aids. Um, I like the weight of this release aid. The weight feels good. I like the blade. The blade is a very popular release aid. Um, look, it's pretty good pretty good it's got a good weight it's got a good feel in the hand it's nice how it's adjustable it's got a nice loading mechanism um, it's very very good it's ve to me it's very equivalent to the blade so if you're going if you're going into a archery store and you go look I want to try out top release aids this is one of the ones you want to try the Stan I'm gonna say Perflex um, comes in thumb or resistance the XL version of that is probably one you want to try it's a different feel to this this is quite chunky like the blade as far as the width of the pegs the stand is narrow so some people find the stand too narrow on their fingers and it will hurt them and creates too many pressure points um, some people will, will like that um, so this is very much like the blade it feels like the blade similar weight to the blade the carters are all I'm gonna say are all um, anodized there is brass ones but the brass ones are kind of rare um, and they do tarnish with this being stainless or titanium whatever it is so I think it's pretty good I think it's a very smart design how it sort of clips in I like this hook system it's quick um, this here at the end I'm not sure about that looks a bit industrial but kind of a nice release it does remind me of the failsafe release aid of back when I back in the 1980s made by true fire true fire failsafe releases anyway that's what it reminds me of but a very nice trigger mechanism I just think this is too far from that but that's fully adjustable so I'll have to think about whether I'll go for one of these for a thumb release aid um, or one of the others. So that's the Scott Ascent. Should be out now. 
and from what I hear Scott CBE is starting to ship and Elite Bows we just got a whole pile today and when I say a pile I think there was 40, 40 Elite Bows today and they would be months and months on order but I believe they're getting their delivery times down to six weeks now at Elite um, and they Elite today said their CBE stuff is only a two week wait so we'll see how they go with the two week wait um, on our CBE order um, but they are getting stuff together and all manufacturers are starting to get up to speed now so I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies check out the Apex from Scott Archery at your local archery shop thanks for watching